Unexplained moments caught on live TV can include sightings of flashing lights in the sky, strange creatures that wander into a reporter's shot, or scary moments that happen during a live event. Many of these unforgettable moments on live TV are never explained or debunked, but there are some live TV moments that turn out to be less scary than first imagined. Number 5 during a live TV news broadcast from the UK-based broadcast company ITN, a journalist was standing on a bridge over the M11 motorway just outside of London. She was reporting on a story for a show called London Tonight about a car accident that had occurred 14 miles from the bridge when an unusual event took place that caught the station's viewers off guard. In the background, the camera caught a glimpse of something that seemed strangely eerie and unsettling. Behind the reporter, a strange shadow could be seen emerging from the trees on the roadside and moving towards the road. Since the scary shadow didn't have any distinguishing features, it wasn't immediately clear what could have caused it. The journalist continues her report oblivious to what was happening behind her but others were quick to spot what they thought was a supernatural event caught on live TV. The incident instantly drew reactions from viewers who speculated that it might be a spirit that was trying to make its way across the motorway. The station received so much feedback that the show's producers decided to investigate and find the real cause of the incident. After the video was thoroughly scrutinized and every possible scenario considered, it was found that the shadow wasn't traveling on the roadside, but on the camera's lens. An insect or arthropod had landed on the camera and crawled across the lens, causing the blurry image that appears to be further down the road. The moving legs of the insect created the illusion that a human-like form was trying to cross the road, and the fact that it was directly on the lens made it appear as if it was transparent, completing the strange illusion. Number 4. In March of 2018, two Wisconsin news anchors were left baffled when one of their cameras caught something in the morning sky that they couldn't explain. At 4.43 a.m., Fox 6's Wake Up News program was underway and being broadcast live when one of the anchors spotted strange activity over the Milwaukee skyline. What looked like a multitude of lights that seemed to appear out of nowhere could be seen streaking and diving across the dark sky, causing one of the anchors to ask, quote, are those fireworks? What is that? Her co-anchor sounded just as baffled before asking, aliens? I don't know. Her co-host responded by asking, what the heck is that? It's getting weirder by the second. Viewers were quick to pick up on the strange event, and many of them took to Reddit to share their thoughts on what it may be. Many people theorized that they were indeed the lights from an extraterrestrial craft, while others thought that it may be a meteor shower that had accidentally been caught on live TV. The incident quickly went viral, with the video gaining more than 100,000 views on Facebook alone. Fox 6's Facebook page was inundated with viewers debating on the origins of the lights. A few hours later, Fox 6 reporter Amy DuPont decided to investigate the incident to get to the bottom of the mystery, and she traveled to the downtown area directly under the spot where the lights seemed to be hovering. What she found completely underwhelmed their viewers when she discovered that it was nothing more than a flock of seagulls that had been flying through the air. As she stood in front of the Milwaukee County Courthouse, the camera panned to the sky to reveal the birds flying overhead. Tom Clements, a meteorologist from KEYC News 12 in Minnesota, stated that the shutter speed of the camera caused the birds to appear brighter than usual and that this also caused them to appear as streaks in the sky. But many residents of Milwaukee weren't so quick to dismiss the event, with one viewer stating that they didn't believe seagulls could fly that fast. Another stated that seagulls don't emit any light and another questioned why they were leaving light trails behind, despite the explanation that had already been given. Another viewer stated that the incident was clearly the definition of UFOs and that this was a bizarre case of a UFO sighting. Number 3 
In 2009, CNN's well-known presenter Larry King was doing a segment on the deceased pop idol Michael Jackson with a camera crew and reporter taking a tour of his California mansion, better known as Neverland Ranch. While filming inside the bedroom suite, the tour guide, who is the son of renowned actor Marlon Brando, is asked if privacy was a concern, as there were multiple locks on the door. He explains that while Jackson was alive, they were told not to enter when the doors were locked but were free to enter when they were left open. As the camera moves past the door and gets a shot down the hallway, it captures something that many of the singer's fans believe to be a shocking moment caught on live TV. At the end of the corridor, a shadow can be seen moving across the doorway in front of a fireplace at the far end of the room. None of this is noticed by either the camera operator, the reporter, or the tour guide, but viewers quickly spotted the anomaly, and after the clip was posted to YouTube, it quickly went viral and rumors started to spread like wildfire. Hundreds of viewers stated that they believed the strange shadow to be the spirit of Michael Jackson that had never left the ranch as he loved living there. One YouTube commenter stated that they'd played the video over several times and that they were convinced that this was indeed the image of the King of Pop. Others were more skeptical, however, believing that it was merely a trick of the light or a hoax that had been planned ahead of time. But their theories were proven wrong when CNN devoted a section of King's show to debunking the mystery. It was found that during filming, a crew member had walked past a light fixture that was out of the shot causing their shadow to appear on the far wall in the room at the end of the corridor. But not everyone was convinced by the explanation, with one commenter stating that the shadow even had Jackson's hairstyle silhouette and that it was obviously him. Number 2 On the 17th of June, 2007, a Czech television station called CT2 was broadcasting a live view of the giant mountains with the camera panning from side to side to show the Czech countryside accompanied by soothing music. But viewers were left shocked and confused when the tranquil scene suddenly transformed into a scary sight caught on live news. As the camera panned to the left, the screen was suddenly filled with a bright white light that lingered for about six seconds before receding. But in its place was something even more shocking and horrifying. In a valley below the mountains, a huge mushroom cloud had formed, seemingly as a result of a massive explosion that had just occurred. But it quickly came to light that the incident was a hoax that had been planned by a collective of artists who had won an award from Prague's National Gallery just one month earlier. The group hacked into the station's broadcast by climbing up a television tower near the mountain and connecting a computer to the camera and the cable that enables the broadcasts. They then added the video of the blast to the existing broadcast, but their plan landed them in trouble soon after. Six members of the group were charged with spreading false information and scaremongering, and they faced jail terms of up to three years if found guilty. The group of artists claimed that they created the project and named it Media Reality to show how members of the public can easily be misled by what they saw in the media. Czech television condemned the act, stating that it could have resulted in a far worse scenario, as members of the public could become alarmed at what they saw on their television screens, and it could have resulted in mass panic. It wasn't the first time that the artist was in the spotlight for a publicity stunt. In 2004, the group covered a neon heart sculpture at Prague Castle, turning it into a large question mark in honor of their president who had just stepped down from his position. On the 25th of March 2008, the charges against the group were dismissed by a judge who considered the act as being one of public amusement rather than one of public unrest since members of the public quickly realized that it was merely a hoax. Number 1 in 1951, the U.S. government set up an emergency broadcast system called Control of Electronic Radiation in order to warn members of the public about any emergencies that may have taken place during the Cold War. When the system was activated, 
It would force most radio and TV stations off the air, and selected stations would then broadcast an emergency message. This was done so that no enemy direction-finding equipment could lock onto the broadcast, as it would be switched between 640 and 1240 kHz between alternating stations. But on the 20th of February, 1971, a shocking event took place on live TV that left members of the American public fearing for their lives. An emergency message was sent out to the teletype of every radio and television station and it read, quote, Message indicator, hatefulness, hatefulness. This is an emergency action notification, EAN, directed by the president. Normal broadcasting will cease immediately. The word hatefulness was a match for daily code words that broadcasters received to verify such an emergency message. Broadcasters immediately interrupted their programming and continued to read a federally mandated script informing members of the public that the government had requested for them to disrupt their broadcasts, causing viewers to panic as they thought they might be under attack. Viewers and listeners placed calls to the station, asking for more information and asking what action they were supposed to take. Others watched their TV screens in anticipation, but employees at the warning center realized that there had been an error and started scrambling to end the transmission of the warning message through a different code word, impish. But for 40 minutes, they were unable to find the right code word and tried to end the message six times unsuccessfully. When the right word was finally found and sent to broadcasters, the message disappeared from the air and confused members of the public were left to carry on with their lives. It would later come to light that W.S. Eberhardt, an employee at the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, had inserted the wrong tape into the system, and what was supposed to be a test of the emergency system actually came across as a warning. Members of the public were left furious over the error stating that the system clearly didn't work properly. The New York Times speculated that a similar error could have easily caused American or Soviet weapons to be sent into action, which would have been disastrous. The emergency alert system that's used today is far more reliable, including alerts that are even sent to cell phones. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But I've been Ty Knotts, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.